Have you ever had a problem finding the perfect gift for someone special, like a teacher or that person that has it all? Well, rmirishjewels.com has the solution. Stretch and bangle bracelets to fit every wrist. At rmirishjewels.com, we have so many designs, such as the Tree of Life, the Circle of Life, and many more. When this someone special opens the gift, they'll ask, where did you get that jewelry? And you can say, at rmirishjewels.com. Welcome to Harriet's Kitchen. We're now getting ready for the holidays and um, your menu is probably on your mind. Um, certainly by now you know that you're probably what your meats are going to be, your starches. Uh, today let's do an old fashioned dessert. Um, the dessert's going to be banana pudding. The ingredients are going to be vanilla wafers. And vanilla wafers are the best. Don't don't be cheap with your vanilla wafer cookies. Um, some people will use Walmarts. It's not going to give you the same flavor. Um, a, a, a variation could be the Chessman um, cookies. You can do those. But don't if you're going to use wafers, make sure they're vanillas. We're going to use cream cheese. We're going to use a um, eight ounces of cream cheese. We're going to use four ounces of sweetened condensed milk, um, a cup of sugar, um, about a teaspoon of uh, pure vanilla. We're going to use a three ounce box of banana cream instant pudding and we're going to use a five ounce cream uh, instant cream pudding. All right so we're going to start by making the pudding first and we're whisking it and I have sometimes put it uh, with the beaters and beaten it but it's really not necessary. Okay, we're going to let that sit. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to mix up the cream cheese and the condensed pudding. So we're going to start on a low beater. Okay, I am adding a cup of sugar and vanilla, about a teaspoon. So you're putting and I'm just going to whip that in there, stir that in there. And now we're going to add our mixture of cream cheese and condensed milk. And just stir that in there. And I have already started a pan that has vanilla wafers and two bananas. And if you are a banana fan and you really like a lot of bananas, um, you know, go on and add three bananas uh, if you rather than uh, two. And this is going to be and it's we're layering this. This first a layer of cookies, then your bananas, and then we're going to pour on the pudding. You want to get this in the crevices and you're just using half of this. Slicing it um, thin because, you know, sometimes people are not real, real fond of bananas. Okay. And so you're not getting a chunk of bananas in your mouth. Um, mm. That's I'm just saying, if you don't like bananas, how you eat banana pudding? Well, because it's a pudding. It's really the pudding that people like. <laughs> and the last thing that we put on the um, banana pudding are about six or eight cookies crushed up. And we have one that we just made this morning. That's been sitting in the refrigerator. Dessert is served. Dessert is served. Miss Olga. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss mm -hmm. Rue. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Mm. Cliff. 
awesome. <laughs> All right, tell me what you think about the banana pudding. Is this a dessert that you would serve at your house? Yes, I would, I would make this. Okay, make this. and I'm sure you could do some variations with the pudding. You don't necessarily have to um, put the bananas in there. You could use the banana cream um, instant pudding um, and and just have the taste, the flavor. If, you know, because there are some people that really don't care about bananas. Um, how about it, Miss Ruth? Very nice. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And this will be one of my dishes for New Year's. Okay. That's two dishes I got from Miss Harry. Absolutely. I'm All excited right. about that. Mm -hmm. I will make sure that I write those recipes up for you and get okay. them to you. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Cliff? This get better every time. <laughs> every time I eat this, this get better. 